either side of a trip to the Pantanal, a few days were spent at the savannah-like Cerrado habitats of Mato Grosso State, east and west of the city of Chiava. Firstly, Chapada dos Guiamares, and then Serra das Araras. The town of Chapada shares its name with the local national park and has a laid-back colonial ambiance. Our base for three nights here was the Pusado Vento Sul, owned and run by bird guide Fernando Frottini. Its small garden held a variety of locally common birds. These included a plain-breasted ground dove, the slightly larger ruddy ground dove, one of the most widespread species seen throughout Brazil. Saffron finches. The males are bright yellow and in the southern races there is marked sexual dimorphism with females being rather plain and streaked. The yellow on this individual therefore suggests it is a juvenile male. Double collared seed eater. Another species where the English name is mainly derived from the male plumage. The females being rather indistinct with a mixture of buff brown plumage tones. The ubiquitous Rufus Hornero. a few shiny cowbirds. Choppy blackbirds. And even purplish jays early mornings in the lodge's cecropia tree. Early starts were required to avoid too much activity during the heat of the day. Not far from the lodge, a burrowing owl had a territory in a large compound. The target early morning habitat was the open Cerrado, accessed by various dirt tracks on the outskirts of the town. Red-crested finches were relatively easy to see here. Only the male sports the bold red-crested crown. Along with white-rumped tanagers. Black-throated saltators. choppy blackbird. Noisy chalk brown mockingbirds. Plain crested Elania. Yellow chevroned parakeet. Picazuro pigeon and barred ant shrikes. Although usually in pairs, only this female showed well enough to be filmed. Roadside hawks perched appropriately on fence posts along the tracks. As we explored beyond the town, rather more elusive species appeared, including this endearing white-eared puffbird.
rusty backed ant wrens. The female lacks the black face and breast showed by the male. White banded tanager, also known as shrike like tanager due to its black mask. A surprisingly approachable laughing falcon. A showy crimson crested woodpecker. The white line running from the bill then down the neck and the black on the forehead and crown identify it as a female. Plumbia seed eaters. The male is grey with a white throat and thin black malar stripes. Typically for seed eaters, the female is even plainer. A pair of Chapada flycatchers. As their name suggests, they are entirely restricted to these open habitats in central Brazil. They have only recently been split from Campo Suriri based on minor structural differences, but a very different duetting display. And the attractive, and rather tit-like, coal-crested finch. As the heat of the day intensified and the flies became a little too bothersome, we sought some relief in the gallery forests that line the river courses near the town. More like wooded tracks than forests, they nonetheless produced a new range of species. The taller trees were favoured by birds such as thrush-like wrens, which were reasonably common. as were black-fronted numbirds. There were also lovely yellow-tufted woodpeckers. Squirrel cuckoo. A pair of southern beardless tarantulas. A stunning male swallow tanager. And a beautiful yellow ridged toucan a distinctive and recent split from channel build toucan. Despite their size and unmistakable appearance, they proved hard to track down. In more open areas were delights such as this peach-fronted parakeet. A male black-throated mango. this grey-lined hawk of the very pale southern race Pallidus. A pale-breasted thrush. A young male thick-billed euphonia. Lettered arasari. ruddy ground doves and pale breasted ground doves. The latter here were the juvenile saffron finch. And here both species were the much rarer male blue ground dove. 
and a splendid female red-necked woodpecker, which was foraging near a nest site. More good birds could be found skulking in the thick understory, like this male large-billed ant wren. A female great ant shrike. Silver beaked tanager. An Amazonian motmot, -mot, the southern form of the recently split blue crowned motmot. -mot. A much prized fiery capped mannequin. and band-tailed mannequins. Surely such a gorgeous bird deserves a better name. A speciality of these gallery forests, they put on a star performance. On one morning we ventured into the Chapada dos Guiamares National Park. At Morro dos Ventos, a viewpoint looks out across the park's famous escarpments. Here, red and green macaws could be watched flying around the cliff faces. and a cliff flycatcher found the viewpoint offered a perfect perch. We then moved on to the view de Neuve. The iconic view here is of a huge waterfall that tumbles over the escarpment. In the midday heat it was quiet bird-wise, although a black vulture showed well, as did a chalk-browed mockingbird, and a female burnished buff tanager was feeding on cecropia fruits by the restaurant. The same afternoon we drove east of Chapada to an area of fields and cerrado habitat along the track to the Arroyari Caves. Close to the main road we encountered our first great areas of the trip. They were probably all males, being generally quite dark and with obvious black lower necks. Unfortunately, numbers are reducing as more of their habitat is being turned over to cultivation or cattle grazing. We also saw red-legged seriemas in their typical grassland environment. Widespread but nowhere common, they are actually protected by many farmers given they predate snakes and rodents. The track eventually led to a large expanse of cerrado. Bird scene included a pair of white rumped tanagers. They often duet. Whilst the male sings, the female chirs in the background. A pair of curl crested jays. A young male blue-black grass quit. 
an overhead king vulture. Best of all, a much sought after collared crescent chest. Related to the tapaculos, this is a relatively poorly studied species, being generally hard to find. <laughs> 